So if you guys have been watching the channel for a bit, you'll know that my biggest problem with Intel's 12th gen is thermals. And I got a product that cost about $15 that's supposed to rectify that. It is the Thermalrite LGA BCF, or whatever you would call it. But basically what it does, it replaces part of the retention mechanism that keeps the CPU into the socket. Just comes in a, well, plain brown box, nothing really too descriptive about it. But it also has a neat little authentication sticker so that you know you got, well, a thermal right product. You've got a tube of thermal paste, a uh, little Allen key, and then the product itself. The instructions inside of the box are also printed on the outside of the box. So let's throw this into my PC and see if Steve from Gamers Nexus was onto something when he was telling me that I'd get 10 degree better temps. Installing this product was, well, fairly simple. Just take off your CPU cooler, clean everything off, um, unretention or lift the retention arm on your CPU, and then take out the four screws, one in each hole, that keep the retention mechanism itself and the back plate with the motherboard sandwiched in between it. After you take those four screws out, you might find it's easier to install the new, um, the, the new retention mechanism with the case standing up just because you might need a little bit of pressure on that back plate um, on the other side of the motherboard just to make it so the threads or the screws will thread. And then after you get all four screws threaded, it's important that you don't just simply wrench down on one side and then the other. Um, you want to do it, you know, probably a quarter or a half a turn in a diagonal pattern as you go until you feel a positive stop and then it's installed. And what I mean by positive stop is you'll be turning and turning and then you'll feel a little bit of tension and then it will just stop. There, it just it won't want to go anymore, and you don't want to push it past that point, but you want it to be at that point. If you have it too loose or too tight, the CPU or the motherboard might think that there's no CPU in there, and your system just won't boot. Or if it's pretty tight but not tight enough, it might be tight enough so that the system will still boot, but the CPU is loose, and then you run into issues with shorting things out inside of your computer, but just push everything to the positive stop and that should be more than enough. So let's see what our temps were. I did actually forget to mention really quick, there is a little diamond on the bottom corner of the new bracket. You want to match that diamond up with the diamond on the CPU itself on the IHS. Um, it is designed to fit a specific way and that's how it fits. If you put it the wrong way, you might break something. I would really recommend not doing that. But now that all that's out of the way, let's see what temps were. All right, and since we're not going for anything too scientific here, we're not, you know, we're not worried about individual degrees. We're just we're wanting to see if we made a, you know, a large difference or a noticeable difference using this product. Um, so I only ran three be or three tests. I ran the Cinebench R23 benchmark, but I ran it on a 30-minute loop, and I did this four times, and I recorded the highest temperature for both the old retention mechanism and the new retention mechanism. I ran the Port Royal stress test, again, four times, just for a total of about an hour. Or actually, no, yeah, that was about two hours, and then I recorded the highest temperature, and I did the same thing with Battlefield 5. I ran it for about an hour, recorded the highest temperature. So how did we do? All right, so let's start with Battlefield 5 just because I feel like that's where I would use my PC the most. So before adding the new retention mechanism, so on the stock retention mechanism, after about a one hour play session, I was sitting at about 60 degrees Celsius on my CPU. After putting the new retention mechanism on, 
or after putting on the new thermal right plate, I guess would be the best thing to call it, I was sitting at about 58 degrees Celsius, which not a huge difference, but I did notice that the system was running significantly quieter. And I think a lot of that has to do with fan curves. If the system is having an easier time cooling itself, it's gonna run quieter. It's gonna be doing less work to keep it at, well, a lower temperature, and that's what I noticed here. With the Port Royal stress test, I think, I, I don't know, but this one just felt really weird to me. Um, with the old retention mechanism, with the stock mechanism, it was at 72 degrees, which is about what I would expect it to be. But with the new retention plate, it was at 32 degrees Celsius. That's a 40 degree difference, so I don't know. I, something had to be really wrong there. I'm not sure what. I repeated the test. I took the mechanism back out and put the old one back on the CPU, re-ran the test a few more times just to make sure I wasn't smoking crack. And yeah, same results. So I don't really know what to think of here, but I recorded it, so I'm going to share it. And moving on to the last one, but what is probably the most important is the Cinebench stress test. So running Cinebench on a 30 minute loop four times with the stock retention mechanism yielded about 92 degrees Celsius, which again makes sense because while well, you're running every core in the CPU at full till for two hours, of course it's gonna get hot and it got up to about 92 degrees. With the new retention mechanism, we were sitting at about 77 degrees, so we dropped about 15 degrees for a $15 product. That's huge. And I don't know if it's just variance between runs, but without doing anything else, my Cinebench score went up from roughly 22,040 to 22,130. So it went up by about 90 points, which when you're talking in the 22,000 range, I guess you could call that margin of error. So that's it for today. Just simple benchmarks and a new product. I think it's cool. I'm going to leave it on my system. I noticed that my system either runs a little quieter or runs a little cooler and quieter depending on what I'm doing. So I'll definitely be keeping this. Um, yeah. Don't forget to do the YouTube thing, subscribe, do all that cool stuff, and I will see you guys in the next one.